Jill Bellin has, a, has an umbrella this morning where she is. She's hanging out with our friends with the Calgary West Soccer Club, talking about some cool soccer camps for the summer. Great soccer camps and a great event. I actually put the umbrella away, but that maybe was not the smartest move because the rain does seem to be picking up out here. Uh, some brave players who are sticking it out here from the Calgary West Soccer Club. A great opportunity and some opportunities for the public as well, Mary. So let's talk a little bit about that. There's a game coming up in July. What are people going to be able to see? Yeah, um, the U-20 national women's team, the Black Princesses, are going to be playing the Cali's major women's team, which is a local team that plays in the Alberta Major Soccer League here in Calgary and Alberta, actually. Awesome. And, um, okay, so yeah, tell, give us a point of reference for people who maybe aren't familiar with the soccer world. Uh, how advanced are these ladies? Yeah, pretty advanced. They have all played at the university level in the States and Canada. Um, and so they're now playing in the, the major league here, which is the highest league for women playing in Canada right now or in, in, in Alberta. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, we're excited to see them play against the Ghana team and see how they do. Yeah. And the, we're going to be um, having it at McMahon Stadium. So awesome. it's open to the public and we hope that we'll get lots of teams and to cheer on the Ghana team and the Calgary team. Yeah, and of course with World Cup fever in full swing too, a great opportunity to see some high-level soccer right here in our city at McMahon Stadium. Also, summer camps, uh, some availability for kids to still sign up, right, Henry? Yeah, sure. Um, and I think when we advertise the camps with uh, black princesses from Ghana, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it's only for girls, right? Uh, we invite all the ball boys too, um, and they will practice together with the girls and will enjoy the time too. Okay. Our camps are from the 1st to the 6th of July, mm -hmm and then from the 7th to the 11th of July. Okay, fantastic. All the information on your website. We'll put that link up on ours, breakfasttelevision.ca. Going to switch spots with you here again, Mary. And Amara, tell us what's this opportunity like for you to be able to play with these high-level players? Um, well, I think it's going to be really awesome and amazing an op opportunity because, well, now they're fe we can have female role models. And um, it's just amazing to know that there are also so such high-level female teams that we can work towards to be on. Exactly. Is that something that you would set your sights on, Kennedy? You want to play with those ladies and like them someday? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's also going to be a great learning experience, and it's going to be really fun. Cool. Kerrigan, what do you think about getting the opportunity to play with these girls? Uh, I think that it would be nice to look at look at the look towards them mm -hmm. and find some new skills to use in our game someday and be able to be like them and just kind of look look back to see they were like small like us once and now they're national and yeah. top tier. Awesome, top of their game. Uh, how are you girls doing? Are you freezing out here? You're used to playing in the cold, Calgary girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're used to it. They, they know what's up. You, you pr <laughs> practice in the snow. Uh, Ted, Tara, I was going to say, it is raining, but I feel like it's almost snow. Almost oh. snow. It almost feels snow. like it. Seven degrees. Yeah. I don't know. I said it. I don't know about that. But you know what? It's The kids, they're always fine. It's they the are. soccer moms and dads it's who true. are standing at the sidelines. It's worth noting, by the way, the women in our country have done better nationally as of late than the men. Absolutely. So. 100%. Time yeah. for the men to step it up.